One of the great things about having a filament Bible is that the app is able to be updated at any time to be improved, to, uh, Im to add new content, new experiences, new features. And we have been working very hard over the last several months to uh, just upgrade and improve the entire Filament Bible app experience. And we're really excited to be releasing the uh, Filament Bible app 3.0 very soon. So let's walk through what is changing and uh, what you can expect to encounter in the new Filament Bible 3.0 version. So we immediately launch in and you can see that a lot of this is very familiar, but also things have moved around a little bit. So uh, quickly you can see the, uh, the camera icon that used to be up here in the corner is, an, is no longer there. We've moved that and some other key things down into this navigation bar at the bottom. So you have quick access in every screen to the home button, reading plans, the page scanning feature, and more uh, for settings and that sort of thing. So, so quickly it was reorganized in that way. And now let's just go through some of the individual features of the Filament Bible 3.0 that are going to make uh, engaging with your Bible through this app uh, even easier and more delightful and, and hopefully uh, just going to help you be able to focus on the things you need to focus on most when you are connecting with God through the scriptures. So we'll start with this little icon at the top, this gray version of the filament icon, which opens a quick settings menu uh, where you can do a couple of things real quickly. First, you can see your active edition. And this is the edition of your Bible that you are connected to at a given moment. And you can change that um, in, in this setting. You can see your full list and, uh, and make, make changes to which one. You can even activate a new Bible by tapping there. You can also quickly change the text size in the app from uh, among four sizes uh, that are range from pretty small to uh, large print. And you can change the theme from light mode to dark mode or go default to follow your system appearance settings. Light mode is one of the more dramatic changes. We now have a fully fledged light mode. Uh, so it's not just inside the, the places where you're reading text, but the whole app will, ref, will reflect either light mode or dark mode. So this is the new light mode home screen. Uh, these things function the same way as they used to. You can just enter a page number and it'll navigate you there. You can go and choose an individual book or type a book name and it'll take you right there. So those things work the same, and you can go through individual pages as well. Um, so study has also been rethought. So it, it's, again, very familiar. It's the same content that you had in the previous versions, but it's reorganized a little bit just to uh, accommodate the new design and to make it a little easier to access and a little easier for us to have new features and to grow in the future. So when you go into study, it brings you into study notes for every, all the verses that are on that page that you're on. Um, and instead of, there used to be icons at the bottom to change to different kinds of study content. Now we have a drop down menu in the upper right hand corner where you can switch from study notes to book overview and see all of these different things. You can open and close individual sections of the book overview. Uh, you can move over to people, and these are articles about people. And when you go into one, it will open in the same window. To go back to the list, you just tap that back arrow and so on. Similarly, themes are up there. And we've added this so that you can actually see which verse from the page a theme article is related to. I know sometimes you can go in here and there's, there's just a lot of theme articles in here, and it's hard to know which ones are going to be most helpful to you the moment. We hope that list of uh, the verses where um, that topic is being covered is going to be really helpful to you. So that is study. In order to get out of study, go back to home, you go down to the nav bar and tap on the home icon. Just as simple as that. And you can do that anywhere you are in the app. 
where, wherever you are, if you just want to get back to home base, just tap that home and it'll get you there. Reflect uh, is, again, similar changes to uh, study. We have the articles there and you can go in, tap on one, get back to the list with the back arrow and then go back home. C, uh, we, we really went and rethought this a little bit and are, we're gonna give you a list of the uh, available content in uh, the C section and it's gonna be categorized. Uh, you can see the sections of maps, videos, infographics, and worship videos. And if you wanted to see only one of those type, you can use the, the drop-down menu, say, I wanna only see worship videos, for example, and then it gives you just the list of the worship videos that are on this page. Now, sometimes you'll find a page that doesn't have a, a certain category. So if there are no infographics associated with content on this page, you'll see that. Uh, but generally, you're gonna be able to get access to exactly what you want a little bit faster with the new organization of C. Then I want to, let's see, we'll go in and show you what maps look like. Maps are, again, very beautiful and interactive. You can tap and pinch and zoom, but now you're able to, uh, to simply open and close this info bar by, by grabbing this bar and dragging it up or down. You can turn these layers on and off. And again, to get out of the map, you just grab the bar at the top. Let's do that again so you can see. Grab the bar at the top, drag it down, and you're out of the map, the infographic. Uh, that's how those work. So that's study, reflect, and see. And reading plans. We have also really upgraded the reading plan experience to make it even easier to keep track of what you're doing, to uh, quickly get access to what do I need to read today. So you just tap the reading plans and it immediately takes you to your daily readings. Uh, I currently have two reading plans active and it shows me what I need to read on each day, what page I should turn to in my Philomath Bible to, to do that reading. And you can just you know, quickly mark those red and you can see, okay, uh, now I have completed all three of my three readings for today, 100%, I'm all set. Again, page scanning uh, is, it works the same way that it did before, but instead of the button being in the upper right-hand corner, it's down on the home page, and you can tap that at any time, even if you're inside of one of the areas, you can tap scan and it'll open it up. And if you have your Bible there to scan the page, it'll navigate you to that page through that. And of course more, there's some settings and things, plenty more to explore. But we hope that this update of the app is going to make using the Filament Bible app even more delightful. It's gonna be a faithful companion as you engage with God's word and uh, dive into whether you're studying, whether you're doing a devotional experience uh, or just um, just your daily Bible reading through reading plans. We're really excited to offer this to you. And we have even more plans, so keep an eye out for updates to the app and for updates to the content in the app. Uh, we're always wanting to make this experience even better for you. So uh, that is Filament Bible 3.0.